She looks down at her body, then back up to Aranos. What questions do you have of me, Aranos Veilduff, Warden of the Crystal Lake? Looks at her curiously as uh, you will ask. The first thing I would then ask of you is perhaps a substantial one. Would you tell us, so it looks at Jasmine, your story, your life? How did you end up where you ended up? She tilts her head to the side and says, That is a long story, and perhaps not the most pertinent one for your troubles. What do you know of the resurrection or the... It's not the right word. The ri raising of the white worm. She uh, twitches a brow and says, It is not something I have heard of much. My duties, my penance, kept me watching the Great Silver Tower. And most worshippers and those who chose to pilgrimage to the site did not gossip heartily about the return of a dragon. That being said, I am no fool, and I can feel the difference in the weather as easily as any laborer can. A great disturbance of magic. Elrenara felt it far off to the west. A sundering of wards, which she proclaimed to me would be the return of one of the great entities of power. That it would be the lapdog of the Wizard King does not come as much surprise. What does the slaying of the Great Silver by the Sword of Ruin mean? What will the ramifications be beyond the breaking of the compact? Elrenara had assisted, as commonly known as the Gold, with some of its efforts to ensorcel the world and ensure that the entities known as the Blue, Black, and Red, whom seem to reincarnate themselves when a greater dragon is born, would not be able to overtake it. That she is now dead means that the blue can act directly. For the slaying of her could not have been done with either the blue's ruling or direct knowledge. So, this character we battled atop the tower would have figured out this plan for himself and acted independently of the three's will. Not so much, no. The tower fused the finest elements of this mortal empire. The builders made it as a castle. They made it as a prison. Archaic ruins in such number that not even Elrenara could leave. It was her burden. It was her choice. But imperial magic has waned in recent times. No longer can your archmage control all. His wards were ripped asunder, yet still an entity of great power was required to do so. I've seen the magic of Aelor the Draco Druid. I know it was his doing. He, whom even the High Druid fears, he who channels power 
from the Iron Sea to the Blue herself. He broke open the tower. He commanded those beasts. He is to blame for what has been done. What do you intend to do with the life that you have been returned to? As Avanara requested before I returned to this existence, I will aid you. But, should you see fit to not have my assistance, I will hunt the entity I think responsible for this affair. I know that he is heading for the Druidic Conclave. I will find him. What aid can you give us? She uh, sets her lips in a fit line. What aid can I give you? Well, I am a being of age and power. And although my past two centuries have been spent accepting worshippers and travelers and before a tower, I have seen heroes fall and evil rise, and I have seen the inverse of that. I understand evil greatly, and I know how best to face it. This will nod, he'll say, and I believe we could ask for no better aid. She will look to Jasmine, basically noticing that she's still here in a way. Quiet, but contemplative as she looks over the two of you. Following the gaze of Aranaz, uh, Ulia will rotate her head slightly, uh, the orange intensity remaining in her eyes, and uh, she'll bore straight down at Jasmine. Jasmine Rose, one of the last survivors, too of House Vane, family eradicated by the Black Fang, and her father felled by the Red itself. Gives us a solemn nod. We have lost much, have we not? Losing as my mistress would say, is a part of living. That you cannot appreciate what is best until you have been given that which is worst. I've always found this saying to be stupid, but I try to keep it in mind. That's not a small smirk for that. Though... I suppose, well, it's l at least not everything that's lost. We've gone forever, it seems. We're looking up and down, and perhaps we can stop. We can stop more of this happening. Perhaps. She looks down at her feet. We're on a boat. Ernest nods. Yes, we had to retreat from Dragon Hall. Not a poor decision, considering the dragons who were involved, as well as the Draco Druid himself. For where do we sail? Horizon. She wrinkles her nose and then uh, unwrinkles it and shrugs. We have been called there by a superior of the Archmage for something urgent. I imagine Pertinax is gloating. It certainly...
Erno sort of stops himself from talking as he says, It would have been better if the compact remained, and had the blue remained in the place where she was. So, El Renara thought. Did El Renara express to you her thoughts on the events that are going on, on the proposed end of this age? She did not have many visitors. But, from what she could tell, her opinion is as mine. Ages fall, and ages rise. The lives of yourselves are difficult to fathom for beings who are not bound by such... (laughs) She uh, then chuckles a bit. Well, it's different to say her words after knowing that she's dead and can't be brought back. (laughs) Only that for every failure there is a success. It is a, as she would call it, a cycle of sorts. She imagines that even if this age were to end, another were to rise. And circumstances in this world do need changing. The numerous archmages have long thought themselves master of the world, yet each has failed to prove himself the greater of the wizard king, despite all attempts to do so. And in the process, the archmage has forcibly attempted to control a force so primal and visceral that finally in this age it is prepared to lash back at that controller nature is not a slave and i think the dragon empire may learn that i'm inclined to believe you're right We have spoken with the druids, and I have found their position to be righteous. They have for long been forced to stay in a single location, unable to move far or wide. Their anger is understandable. Perhaps, given another age or so, the Archmage's efforts would have been successful, and he would have finally managed to tame nature. But, with all of the interference happening across the world, with the weakening of his wards, empire-wide, he did not have the stability required to enforce his logical (laughs) design. You say you have lived through ages. Once I was an entity of great carnage and wrath. Elrenara saved me, and I have been with her since. How old are you? She, ah, looks down at the floor and then looks up at, like, top, you know, like, the, the, the ceiling where the, where the boards are. She narrows her eyes. I honestly don't know. Oh, nod. That seems understandable. Do you know of the people with whom I travel? She, uh, looks down at Aranas... Her, uh, her brows furrow as if she's in concentration. There is Garak Zolt, the follower 
of the gold. There is Aurelia. And uh, Aurelia will smile uh, at mentioning her name. And then there is a strange, peculiar cube who has been bouncing around for not as long as I have, but for quite some time, too. I'm sort of frontlining this. This is the first time I have met this cube. From what you know of him, can he be trusted? She uh, tilts her head to the side and says, That depends on what you'd be trusting him with. Perhaps not. That seems like a, a fair response. Mm. Certainly is quite telling. But the states of all beings, such as yourselves, and even him, will be tested for sure. Not every hero survives the end of an age, or the rebuilding to the next one. And if the Wizard King gets his way this time, there won't be a 14th age for the Dragon Empire. Perhaps history will repeat itself. She uh, stretches a bit, uh, opens her mouth uh, to say something, and then there's a loud grumbling sound from her stomach. She looks down and frowns. I shall go fetch something. She gives a pleased look. Jasmine will step out and go to wherever we keep food in the shop. Go to the kitchen. What, uh, what little of it there might be on this vessel? It's not as if the ship had time to resupply. <laughs> yeah. But you know, well, we'd expect we would. Yeah. That's that's a fair statement as well. We could always fish up a chaos beast. <laughs> <laughs> Much as a powerful entity she might be, I don't think that's what she is. Oh. Yeah, I had a cow's beast for breakfast this morning. What do you have? I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Gurak will go and uh, sort of ask her really how, she, how she's doing there at the prow of the ship. Well, are you holding up? I think so. How about you? Well, I've been better, I can, I can say that, but... I think we've all been better. Yes. You just have to hang in there, I guess. Can't give up hope. That is good to hear from you. Hmm. And how about you? You have not given up yet, I hope. Giving up would be... failing what I set out to do. It would negate everything I've been trying to do about, over these years at this point. I am not quite at that point yet. Well, that's good. There is a silver lining in all of this, and what just transpired in Dragon Hall. The blue now is an official enemy of the Empire, I would assume. Meaning that if the blue died, nobody would mind. That thought does make me rather happy. Well, it's good to can see things from a positive perspective. However, this is not... The opportune time, I wouldn't say, but... Indeed, we have the possibility of dealing with the blue more directly now. And she with us, I suppose. Yes. Uh, 
Well, I'm sure that Lord, apologies, superior to Raptors has many a good suggestion for us. I'm sure he does. He and his people have proven to be rather... I should not. (laughs) They're not my superiors. I don't mind. No, not that. Rather... I will bring it up in front of the Raptors and everything I am currently not saying will make sense. I I see. (sighs) Hopefully, Hopefully we will be able to find Warham again and deal with him properly. I assume that if we do not find him, he will eventually find us. Perhaps Mm -hmm. not by choice, but circumstance has that funny way of bringing those people together who either need to be together or need not meet again. Indeed so. Fate can be rather peculiar at times. That is true. Hmm. <sighs> well, hopefully we'll get some good information at least. I and uh, hope not so much too. scowling. All right. Before we continue, Manakai sending that, me that message gave me a Java error, which means it's time to shut down everything. <laughs> Bye, universe. All right. I'll be right back then. All right.